Why we are unable to view the stars in space. Five arguments. We've seen breathtaking images of Earth, the moon, and the International Space Station since space organizations began sending astronauts into space. However, we frequently note that the photographs lack stars. But why? Shouldn't they shine even more? Why aren't stars included in images taken in space? Let us investigate. Hello and welcome to Z. Photographs shot from space might be unsettling for many people who expect to see the starry sky that we fall in love with on Earth. Let's look at the five most important elements that contribute to missing stars in space photos, as well as the technological consequences. 1. Direct Sunshine The main reason that stars cannot be seen in space photos is bright sunlight. When the camera is adjusted to capture foreground object details, sunlight entering the camera can saturate the sensor and cause the image to appear overly bright. This means that fainter stars are obscured. To photograph stars in space, the camera must be set up far differently than it is set up to photograph closer things. To capture the stars, the camera needs have a larger aperture and a longer exposure time. As a result, the object in the foreground will be overly lighted and its details will be obscured. 2. The Shutter Speed Shutter speed is another important component that influences your camera's ability to capture stars. A fast shutter speed is employed in most space photography to eliminate blurring caused by the spacecraft's movement. This, however, means that the camera does not have enough time to record sufficient starlight. To get a clean image of the stars, slow down the shutter speed. However, the image will have more noise or movement and thus more defects, making the main object appear hazy. 3. ISO The ISO value represents the sensitivity of the camera sensor to light. When photographing from space, the camera should be set to a low ISO sensitivity to successfully catch starlight. When photographing a closer object, such as the Earth or the Moon, the ISO sensitivity can be increased to catch more detail, but weaker lights, such as stars, are lost. 4. Focal Length When taking space shots, focal length is equally important to consider. Most space cameras employ wide-angle lenses to get a comprehensive view of space. However, this causes the stars to look smaller in the photograph. To achieve a more detailed image of the stars, a greater focal length is required. 5. Image Processing Image processing is another important aspect influencing the capacity of space pictures to show stars. Space camera images are usually modified to improve the contrast and clarity of foreground objects. However, this can have the unintended consequence of darkening the fainter stars. As a result, astrophotographers must exercise caution when processing photographs to avoid losing detail in the stars. Despite these factors, there are some space pictures that show stars. These photographs are captured under unusual circumstances, such as during spacecraft shutdown maneuvers, when a slower shutter speed and a wider aperture are employed. Stars may also be more visible in images taken at night, when sunlight does not interfere with star capture. Astrophotographers struggle with the lack of stars in space images since stars are an essential aspect of the landscape. To overcome this difficulty, astrophotographers employ specialized picture processing techniques to enhance the visibility of the stars. Adjusting image exposure and ISO sensitivity, as well as using stacking techniques to merge numerous photographs and improve star clarity, are all part of the process. Astrophotographers also utilize specialized equipment to capture photographs of stars from space. This equipment includes high-quality telescopes and cameras designed to take photos of astronomical objects. Some of these kits also contain special filters that reduce unwanted light and increase star visibility. The Ramifications of Technology Taking images of stars from space poses technical problems as well as significant technological consequences. 
To snap high-quality images of stars, you'll need a space camera that can capture the light from distant, dim stars. Furthermore, the camera must be able to endure the harsh conditions of the space environment as well as the powerful radiation of space. To meet these obstacles, space organizations are creating increasingly powerful and durable space cameras. These cameras capture high-quality photographs of astronomical objects by utilizing cutting-edge technologies such as sensitive image sensors. They also employ innovative materials and cooling technologies to shield the camera from the harsh effects of space. Photographs from the Apollo Missions Some conspiracy theories about the Apollo Missions' lunar landings are based on the fact that no stars show in the images obtained. Although this phenomenon has been described numerous times, there is nothing special about the cameras. The astronauts utilized Hasselblad 500 EL cameras outfitted with Zeiss lenses during the Apollo missions. Biogon focal lengths of 60 mm and 80 mm. These medium format cameras used 70 mm photographic film to capture high quality photos with exceptional resolution and detail. These cameras were not intended to capture background stars because they were designed to picture local objects including the lunar surface. Additionally, astronauts utilized cameras with manual settings throughout the Apollo missions, allowing them to regulate the exposure of the photographs. The astronauts never adjusted the cameras to record the stars because their emphasis was to film the activity on the moon. Furthermore, they were huge and sturdy, lined with insulators, and could function on a surface with no atmosphere, such as the moon. These cameras lacked LED screens, as do current cameras, and lacked a lens for observing what they were shooting. In reality, the astronauts could not see the results of the photos until they returned to Earth and the tapes were revealed, because to take the photos, the astronauts placed the camera at chest level and took the picture blindly, hoping that it would turn out well. This is why all of the astronauts practiced a lot to know which position and height to place the cameras to take the photos without having to see what they were photographing on a screen or a lens. The absence of stars in moon images results from the appropriate exposure required to capture the moon's surface, which is far brighter than the stars. To produce a well-exposed photograph of the lunar surface, the cameras needed to be set to a precise shutter speed and aperture. These settings were inappropriate for photographing background starlight because they required short exposures and narrow apertures, limiting the amount of light entering the camera. Furthermore, the astronauts' cameras lacked the sensitivity required to capture stars in the background. These cameras were meant to work in severe temperatures, vacuum, and radiation settings and could not be equipped with digital sensors like modern cameras. The light sensing technology of the photographic film employed at the time was not sensitive enough to record background stars, which contributed to the lack of stars in NASA astronauts' images of the moon. Because of the exposure and sensitivity required to catch the lunar surface and close objects in space, the cameras used by astronauts on the Apollo missions were not designed to capture background stars. Digital cameras are considerably more technologically advanced than they were back then, making it much easier to capture starlight and foreground objects. That was not doable half a century ago. It was never a priority. The final and most important reason why most space agency images do not show stars is that the goal of the photographs has never been to capture the stars. Space telescopes and space exploration probes carry a variety of scientific instruments and tools for studying space, however these devices have specific purposes and only fulfill specific jobs. Most space probes, for example, carry cameras to picture planets, comets, asteroids, and other solar system objects. These cameras detect all spectrums of electromagnetic radiation, including ultraviolet and infrared, in addition to visible light. These cameras are referred to as multispectral cameras. There are very few objects in the universe that can be seen with visible light detected by our eyes. Most objects in the universe can only be seen with ultraviolet light, radio waves, or infrared light, which is why most probes are equipped to detect this type of radiation rather than starlight in the visible light range. 
The primary goal of space exploration probes and telescopes is to investigate the universe. The universe is perceived mostly through radio waves, infrared light, and ultraviolet light. Just a few items can be investigated with visible light. Furthermore, because each gram in a space telescope or exploratory probe is valuable, the spacecraft's carrying capacity is maximized. It is simply outfitted with the tools required to complete the mission's objectives, nothing more. As a result, these pricey spacecraft are not outfitted with cutting-edge cameras or powerful technology like those utilized by professional photographers. Because they are not required for the mission's objectives. The James Webb Telescope is the best example of this. Have you ever wondered why there isn't a single image of the James Webb Telescope floating around? The reason for this is that James Webb does not carry a camera with him to photograph himself because it is not necessary. What good would it be for scientists to snap a photograph of the James Webb Telescope floating in the emptiness of space where it is currently located? It's not only useless, but it's also impossible because James Webb is completely alone, and the only thing that illuminates it is the sun, so if you wanted to take a picture of it, you'd have to build an extendable arm that extends far enough of the telescope to take a photograph against the light. Could you imagine that? Spending so much time, money, and effort to take a selfie. That is not profitable, given that each extra kilogram on the telescope costs NASA millions of dollars. The same is true for practically all spacecraft. Cameras that capture visible light are rarely installed on them, and hence fail to take photographs of the stars because the cameras they carry are designed for a completely different purpose. In summary, no space agency considers it profitable to spend so much money mounting a camera on a spaceship capable of photographing the stars to appease a group of people who believe humans have never gone in space. Regardless, if there are many images and videos where one may appreciate the stars, these are the ones shot by International Space Station astronauts. The ISS astronauts have had significantly more free time than the astronauts who travel to the moon, and as a result, they have been able to handle and adapt various sorts of instrumentation in the cameras to record the light of the stars and even other things. Despite technological limits, space organizations are working hard to obtain more precise and comprehensive photos of our universe. Their effort motivates us to continue exploring space and learning more about the universe's mysteries. The paucity of stars and images of Earth, the Moon, and the International Space Station is an important lesson in the boundaries of technology and our perception. It is, however, an opportunity to appreciate the beauty of what we can see and comprehend the complexities of space travel. Space photography prompts us to consider our place in this vast and magnificent cosmos. It reminds us that our curiosity and desire to learn the unknown can lead to the development of technology that allow us to see what is hidden in plain sight. What do you think, guys? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.